are we going and what are we doing? I don't know. Come on, you gotta tell me. I, I gotta hear you say it. Well, all right. I'm being forced to go see Star Wars. <laughs> this is the, um, the unofficial Star Wars prison bus to which I have uh, uh, abducted, me. abducted my wife to go see Star Wars. What's the name of the Star Wars movie? That, I don't know. It's probably one of those clone adventures or something. Yeah, to give or you an idea. We, we are Star Wars, no, um, Star Wars the movie part 75. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, to give you an idea of, of how much of a Star Wars fan Kathy is, we watched The Force Awakens last night, just, you know, to put it up against this one. And she uh, she went to bed about a quarter way through it, so. Oh, I didn't even make it happen. You didn't make it happen. Whew. Yeah, it's a long movie, so she has no idea. So we're just gonna, you know, the prison bus is headed to Culver City, and we're gonna go see Star Wars The Last Jedi. Uh, I'm guessing it's not gonna be The Last Jedi. No. Disney has plans, so we'll let you know, you know, how it is. wasn't paying attention when we parked. We got to the theater and barely got tickets in time, so uh, we don't have to go in for about a half an hour, still waiting on the other guys to get here. Uh, Kathy's gonna go through the maze of the uh, parking lot and see if she can find the car. This should be interesting. Walked directly there, did not get lost. You found it. I'm good. Good job. I barely have words. I liked it. Uh, I'm not going to give you any I didn't spoilers. Fall asleep. Uh, you didn't fall asleep. No, it was. Uh, it had multiple timelines, um, all developing at the and same time. Great critters. Really, <laughs> really good. Uh, directing, acting, um, truly cinematic. Uh, definitely one of the best Star Wars movies. Two and a half hours flew by. Yeah, it actually did. It I don't actually know did. What time it is. Uh, it's time to have dinner. No, it's only three. Let's have dinner anyway. Then you know it's Christmas When the snow starts to fall then you know it's Christmas For the children above all Then you know it's Christmas Every year I gotta put this tree together and it's a total pain in the ass But when it's done, it looks really good Although I think next year we'll probably get another tree Maybe one that's a little bit lighter This one's about six or seven years old The joyful times we witnessed Forever stays with us. Soon Rudolph fears his whistle and gathers all his friends. When Santa and his missus wraps the final gift, you know it's time for Christmas for each and every one.
all of our ornaments are in these two boxes and have been for the last 25 years. I don't know if we had the same box for 25 years, but we had the same ornaments. That one's a really nice one. This one, this one's from my mom. She's no longer with us, so it's kind of special. And then you know it's Christmas. The snow starts Baby's to fall. first Christmas. This is and Sean's first ornament, and he's now 30. Christmas. So this is 30 years old. That's kind of old. This one is a little creepy. Wait, let me close my eye. Even better. <laughs> Hello. This one is Sean's first shoe, but I didn't know he was going to be a boy. I got a pink shoe. But it's okay. It's now an ornament. This one is Santa driving a classic Woody. I'm not sure what year that is, but it's pretty cool. This little guy is kind of interesting. He, um, he creates little deer poop when he works. There it is. See? Little deer poop. Hmm. That's like year old deer poop. Oh, tasty. Mm. I think Ken gave me that. Oh, great. Some of you may know what this is if you're a little bit older like we are. Disco! Shells from Malibu. From John A bell from the Grand Canyon. This one we got in Switzerland. A little cowbell. This one we got in Sedona. This one we got in the Virgin Islands. Looks like he's a green Santa. Yeah. Maybe he's aged poorly. Doesn't look very good. This is from Tiffany. Huh? How cool is that? Now this one has an interesting story to it because back when we were working at Disney, back in the early 90s, uh, I came up and told Kathy some kind of interesting fact about peanut butter. Which so, I disagreed with, and then he stood firm on it, so I gave a name for him. The peanut butter expert person. He thinks he is. P -P. And still to this day, he thinks he is. Yeah. But I really am. Pretty much. But how about this? 1972. This was literally the first job I ever worked on for Sid and Marty Croft, and I'm still doing pup. This is a puppet foot. How weird is that? It was for the Raquel Welch puppet show. Would you just be quiet and take a glass of wine, please? <laughs> it never empties. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> Let's talk about the point of the holidays for a moment. A brief moment. Most people think of the holidays and they think about, you know, giving gifts and getting things and the shopping and all that nonsense that comes with it. But if you sat down and thought about it, you need realize that it's about giving. More than giving, it's about gratitude and appreciation. You kind of have to be reminded of this, which kind of sucks because you don't want to have to be reminded to be grateful and to appreciate things. But sometimes you do. Sometimes you're, you're, you're wrapped up in your own mind and you're thinking about things and, and you forget to be grateful. You forget to be appreciative. Now, a couple things came up today as I was, uh, commingling with people on the street and, and different things and it reminded me you know that that people walk around in kind of a sleep daze because they're they're so wrapped up in the things that they have to do that that they forget sometimes to express their gratitude and express their appreciation the thing about uh, about giving appreciation and giving, giving gratitude is that you're fulfilling the law and the law is that whatever you whatever you put out into the world comes back to you so of course it makes perfect sense that the more grateful you are the more you, you appreciate and the more you express that the more you'll have to be grateful for and appreciate if, if you forget that and you you start putting out fear and anxiety or or maybe a frustration or irritation towards you know people uh, uh, driving too fast to, to go buy their gifts or to hit an appointment or things like that, then you lose control of, of, the, of the thought process for yourself and you can ruin your own peace. You get frustrated and you, you get what it is that they're giving. So you gotta overcome that. You gotta, you gotta see the truth. And the truth is that it's, it's a very simple process. It's a scientific process. Whatever you put out into the world is what's gonna come back to you. So it's important to remember that and that's what the holidays are about. It's, it's, it's there to remind you to be grateful for, for your life, for the, the friends and family that you have, for the, 
the good health that you have, even if it's even if you're in the hospital and you're sitting in the bed and you're watching this right now and things don't seem to be going all that well, you can change that. You can change that because you're laying down the carpet. You're laying down your future by the way you think. And you gotta express faith, you gotta express belief, you gotta, you gotta stay positive, and you gotta put love out into the world as much as possible. And speaking of love, that's what we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wheels and Waves, and it's gonna be full of love, it's gonna be awesome, we're gonna have R2-D2 and all this kind of cool stuff. We got Santa Claus, oh, we even got Paul Moyer, he's gonna be bringing in his, uh, his uh, black Ferrari, 458 Italian. Speaking of R2-D2, let's talk about Star Wars for just a hot second. It was freaking awesome, and that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Thanks for watching, people. Thanks for, for sticking with us here on the vlog. We're approaching almost 800 episodes. It's freaking... For I would not be here if it weren't for you guys. So thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow.